So I'm sure you drove around and saw solar panels on the roofs, on the side of the road, or perhaps even solar panel farms, and even wind turbines somewhere around the city or the suburbs or even the sea. Renewable energy is fairly new and is being pushed really hard in every direction. But is solar panels on the roof, for example, is it worth it? Is it efficient? Or is it simply a sales gimmick? If you are interested in putting solar panels on your house, make sure you watch this video as there are some additional costs that nobody really talks about and yet they exist and they dramatically increase the overall cost of solar panel system. Hey guys, I'm Tech from Tech Driven and today we're going to talk about solar panel systems on the house. There's a lot of incentives from the government for you to install solar panels on, on your roof, but are they worth it? Are you really going to be saving money in an energy bill or are you simply wasting money on the air? Let's talk about hidden costs that associated with the solar panels that nobody really talks about. Let me ask you this, why are you considering solar panel system? Is it because you want to go green or because you want to save money on an electrical bill? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm sure by now you received a phone call from a solar panel company or perhaps you were in a supermarket where there's a salesperson trying to ask you questions if you own a home and if you are interested in putting up solar panels on your house. Or perhaps your neighbor has installed solar panels on the house and telling you how much he saves in an electrical bill. So here's the fact unfortunately. Solar panels are not as cost efficient as you would think. Here are a few things you have to consider before you purchase a solar panel system and why is it so expensive. So the solar panels are really not that expensive, it's quite actually affordable. However, what you're paying for is the installation, the control systems and tying to the grid systems that actually cost money. And of course, remember the company that will be doing the whole sales, getting permits and all that other work has to make some money on top of it as well. The cost of the systems really depend on where you live and how much your government is willing to give you in incentives. Those prices will range because of that. The higher the incentives, the higher cost of the system. Remember, everybody has to make money. Let's go over a few things a salesperson would ask you. Usually the first question a salesperson would ask is, how old is your roof? Typically roofs last around 20 years. However, to qualify for solar panel installations, your roof needs to be able to sustain it for at least 10 years before it needs to be replaced. That is because to take down the solar panels and reinstall them costs money, which actually will be deducted from your savings. You may not consider this, but five years is actually a long time. And in order to get qualified to, for solar panel installation, you may actually be required to replace your roof five years early, which is actually additional cost that you have to eat and that actually takes out from your savings, but it's not being counted towards the entire system. But that's just scratching the surface. Additional expenses could be related to removing trees that are actually blocking your view. You also have to consider where your location and where you are. Do you have seasons where you get snow or perhaps heavy storms that can actually damage the panels? Overall, solar panels do have warranty of about 20 years. However, they don't cover natural disasters as a tree falling on your roof or the solar panels and cracking and damaging them. This is actually on you to replace them. So let's talk about the biggest expense that nobody really talks about. Well, you would ask the salesperson, do the solar panels devaluate my home? And of course, salesperson would say, no, it actually adds value to your house, which is great, you would say. However, what you have to account for is that because your value of your home increases, so does your taxes. So you may be thinking that you're saving money on electricity, but in fact, you just gain additional cost added to your house yearly in taxes. This is something that nobody really talks about, but however, it is and exists. And that simply says that the system will not pay itself as intended within seven to 10 years. By the time it actually does pay itself, it's actually 20 years where it's time to replace it. So are you really saving money? You're not. But that brings me to another point. Technically, solar panels do increase the value of your home. Realtors will tell you that homes that have solar panels tend to sell better than those that don't. And that is in fact true, however, here's what you have to look at. A lot of people do like the solar panels and they will pay slightly more to buy a home. But on the other side, there are people that use solar panels as something to lower the price of the home on the sales. Let's not forget about contracts. But solar panels have one major issue. They don't produce as much power as everybody thinks. 
Depends on your location, if you're in a cold environment or a warm environment. Here's the thing, solar panels love the sun. They want to get as much sun as possible to produce as much electricity as possible. However, they do not like heat. So if you're in an area where there's a lot of heat in the summer, when it's really hot, your solar panels may be receiving a lot of sun, but they don't produce as much electricity as they should be. So most solar panel systems are actually integrated into the grid. Any access electricity that you're producing from your solar panels gets transferred into the grid and you get receive some kind of credit to use when you're not producing any electricity. The problem with that is that even though you're getting credit for electricity, you're not getting credit for transmission, which is two parts of your electrical bill. One is generation and one is transmission. You may get credit for generation, but you will not get credit for transmission or electricity. That's a bill that you still have to pay. Some locations have a fixed minimum cost of electricity, so no matter how much you use, even if it's nothing, you will still pay that $20, $30 a month, regardless. But one thing you have to consider is that even though the electric companies are giving you credit, that doesn't mean they have to. They're under an obligation to actually give you any credit and they can change the term of service at any point. However, you, the user, are under contracts and you cannot disconnect from the grid. The system was set up that way for you to be connected and it's always this in order to use electricity and your contract says so that you cannot disconnect. Alternatively, you can get battery backups and actually charge the batteries that will feed your home on the hours that you're not using electricity. However, battery systems are extremely expensive and they're simply not worth it. The system will never pay for itself even in 20 years. Additionally, you need to consider this that if for any reason there's loss of power, you lose power as well. Even though you have solar panels on the roof, this is to prevent any electrical current flowing through the lines when they're being worked at. And this is a really a downside because you, you would figure that you have all this extra power that you can produce when the power grid is down, yet you can. The only way to do that is when you get a backup battery system. So you really have to ask yourself why you want to get a solar panel. Is it because you want to go green? Then sure, go get a solar panel system. However, if you want to save money, then sorry to say, but you're not going to save any. Another thing I want to point out is that although the solar panels really do look nice and they do have appeal when they're on the roof, when they're new, however, after 5 to 10 years of weather abuse, they lose their appeal and they don't look so nice on your roof anymore. And that's why the resale value actually drops. So if in 10 years you decide to sell your house, you will actually lose money on your house because the solar panels do not bring any appeal to the house. However, the value of the house itself at least on your taxes, will still be up because your solar panels are in fact on the roof. So I hope this video gave you some insight on regarding the actual cost of ownership of solar panel system. And then make sure you share it with those friends or anybody who you know that's actually considering solar panel systems on their roof. I would like to also thank for all the people that are subscribed to my channel and all the support I'm getting. It. At this moment, I have 2,998 subscribers. And by the time you see this video, I'm gonna cross my 3,000 mark. So I'd like to thank everybody for that. So I hope you liked this video. Click like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe.